I'm very grateful for those who brought Oreos. Our goal is five tons of Oreos, and it looks like we're getting close. Today is Operation Oreo. We ask our members and people in the community to bring Oreos to send to the troops overseas. In Desert Storm, mail was, it was like gold. Um, any, any kind of care package, it's an appreciation. It's like somebody shaking your hand. It, Just to receive anything from home and know that somebody that you didn't know was caring about you was very important. Uh, and it's programs like this that make me be proud to be part of Alpha the First United Methodist Church and to be United Methodist. Well, in 2009, I was on my way to Phoenix, Arizona. I was sitting next to a soldier. I asked him while he was away what he missed most. And he said, just like that, Oreos. So I came back to the congregation in June and said, please, on Patriotic Sunday, let's ramp it up and bring these troops some Oreos. Every year we have people just drop in off the street, bring in cookies, local businesses. Other churches in the area have joined in and so it's very well known in our community. When we started with Operation Oreo, we just sent the cookies. But then we started to realize that it's not just the cookies. We want them to know we're thinking of them, we're praying for them, we appreciate them, we want to encourage them. And so we printed up some stickers and we just ask them to write notes, and people will just write notes of appreciation. I sometimes think they appreciate the notes more than the cookies, because the notes they can keep forever, and it reminds them that they're loved and respected and missed, and we want them to come home. You never know when a prayer is going to have an impact. You never know where that's going to land or who that person is going to be. It does give you a sense of pride in United Methodist Church, knowing that as a denomination, we are uh, trying to emphasize more and more service to those who serve for us. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.